My main advice for anyone who's thinking about maybe getting involved in astrophotography is just grabbing a camera and getting out there and, and having a go. I'm not a fantastic photographer by any means, but I've been surprised actually how you can take really quite quite nice shots just by pointing your camera and playing around and seeing seeing what happens. So get out there, get your camera and give it a try. I think one of the, the basic things you can do if you want to get into astrophotography is actually go out with a very simple tripod and if you've got a DSLR camera or maybe a bridge camera and open the shutter if you can for say 30 seconds at a time and you'll be amazed actually how many stars you can pick up. I think when people start off wanting to take some astro photos, they go for complicated equipment and, and sometimes quite expensive equipment. And actually, you could do a lot with relatively simple things. You could take a great picture of the moon using uh, nothing but a smartphone held up to the eyepiece of a telescope, or you can do wonderful landscape shots showing the stars in context uh, with a foreground using just a digital camera. So my advice is really to start simple and then worry about the more complex stuff once you're hooked and once you're already into it. Come to the museum, come and see the exhibition, uh, look at the entries online, keep looking up at the stars, come and talk to our um, astronomers here at Greenwich, and just keep looking, keep looking at art as well, not only at uh, the stars, and not only at the previous entries, but be inspired by uh, art collections across the country, not the least our collection, which is wonderful. One of the big problems with astrophotography is the fact that um, if you see a beautiful image in a book or in a competition like this, it may put you off. You may think that the learning curve to get to that um, position is, is very difficult to climb. But actually that's not the case. If you start off um, simply with a simple bit of equipment and then just look at what other people have done, ask for a bit of advice, gradually work your way up, then you'll find yourself doing some amazing work. To find out more about the competition and to see some of the beautiful images involved, visit the website.